we go with our beautiful turkey. I'm going to pour off the excess juice into the gravy pot and bring it to the table. Now I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do this. Um, one would be if you're carving at the table and one would be if you are um, doing things in the kitchen. First thing is make sure again you've got a really sharp knife that makes all the difference in the world for this. And we're going to start let's turn it this way so you can see where we had the the tail piece and we put the legs in between it. So we're just going to cut that away. And because this is well cooked, that joint is nice and loose. So we're just reaching in with our the point of the knife to find that joint and cutting through the joint and there's your first drumstick off and if this was like this is of course what all the kids want is the drumstick but if you had a really big turkey that might be too much so then you just have a separate cutting board and you slice pieces of meat off of the, the drumstick like that and that's where you got your first little bit of dark meat you still have the bone with, with some meat on it. And for that matter, I like to leave some meat on the bones because later on when we're making turkey and dumplings, that's the meat that will go into that dish. The next thing we're gonna do, so what we're doing here is we're freeing up the, the breast meat to work at. So the next thing we're gonna do is to cut in and take off this thigh, which is very hot, so we have this lovely and this is also another moment where you make sure you wash your, your hands before you start, which I did do. So we're reaching in, and there is that joint. not cooperating. There it is. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing with the thigh that we did with the drumstick where you can just take your fork and slice the, the meat off of the bone. And that saves you a nice little bone for that. Then we're going to do the same thing again with the wing. Here. There we go. Now, unless you have somebody in your house that likes the wing, you don't have to put that out, but you can. So what that has done is it's freed up all of this breast meat here. So then we're going to turn it around again so the camera can see that this area in here, like where the neck is, I'm just going to open that up a little bit. And normally there would be stuffing in here. In this case, we just have an onion. But inside here is the, the, um, the wishbone. And that's essentially the, the uh, turkey or the chicken. It's their, um, it's their collarbones is what the wishbone is. So you don't have to take out the wishbone, but it does make for a nicer slice if you can take this out ahead of time. And sometimes it's in kind of deep. Okay. So now, here we go with a bit of the money shot here. So we're gonna start by slicing this direction. Get our fork for this part. And then you can start with a downward slice there, catching it with the fork. And because you've already cut through at the base, it automatically makes a nice slice. And you can actually see, I'm not sure if you can on camera, but in person, you can see how 
there's there's still lots of juice in this meat and it's going to be wonderful now the other part that i wanted to show you is if you're cutting this up in the kitchen you're going to do a similar thing uh, with the with the wing and the leg but you're just going to slice down along the breastbone like this and you're going to take the whole thing maybe if i can turn it around so the camera can see as well you're just going to peel that whole piece back And remember, you got the ribs in underneath here, so you're cutting kind of along the ribs. And we're going to peel off this whole chunk of the breast. Yep. There's juice squirting all over the place here. That's good. And then you can just put that on a cutting board. And I'll move this out of the way. So you've got a whole nice piece of breast meat and then you can slice that just like you would a roast. So either one of these ways works for carving a turkey. So no need to be intimidated at all by that. Isn't that gorgeous? So then you're, you're carving this large breast just as if it was a, uh, a roast and then there you go. No need to be intimidated at all. You've got some beautiful breast meat there. And this is also a nice way to do it. If you don't want a big turkey, nowadays you can buy just a turkey breast or just a turkey drumstick and roast those things. And that would come out the same way. Well, thank you for joining us today on Hilltop Stovetop where we learned how to carve a turkey. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and to share and of course subscribe and so that you're not missing out on any of our future episodes. Uh, the previous one was about how to roast this turkey in the first place. Then there is one about how to make gravy and one about how to make a few of those side dishes. One thing I should mention is before you, uh, when you're done eating your turkey dinner, the easiest thing to do is just take this whole carcass, take off whatever meat you can, put it in the freezer, because in a couple of weeks time, we're going to learn how to make turkey and dumplings and you're going to need that meat and the bones to make your stock. And I'll help you out through that process. So enjoy your Thanksgiving or your Christmas dinner, or for that matter, anytime you want to have turkey and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.